So we closed out last week in talking about focus and perspective that if you get your eyes off onto the wrong things, you will sink. I love the verse, and we're going to continue to look at Peter just a little bit here. Uh, I've used the verse in Luke chapter 5, verse 5, numerous times in messages. And Simon answering said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at thy word, I will let down the net. Jesus has just gone into Peter's boat and he's given a message and then he says to Peter, go out into the, into the sea and get ready to get a catch. And Peter has faced a night of failure as a fisherman. He's been out all night long with his partners and they caught nothing. And here's a carpenter. How that must have made old proud Peter feel as a carpenter is saying to him, go out and see this was very early in Jesus' ministry when this conversation took place. And so there had not been a lot, at least recorded anyway, there had not been a lot of interaction at that point in time. And here is Jesus in the middle of, of after hours of failure as a fisherman, Jesus comes to Peter and says, go launch out into the deep, you're going to get a big catch. And in the midst of that failure and Peter being tired and weary and probably wet, and, and he's thinking probably to himself, what in the world is he saying to do? But at thy word, I will cast out my net. That's why I say Peter was real. And, and did he mess up a lot? Did he say things that he shouldn't have said? Yes. But I think we can get a picture of Jesus in reaction to this, and I'm going to kind of highlight that a little bit as we go into the next few days. When we feel like that we have failed, when, when we feel like that what we have tried to do didn't accomplish what we set out for it to do, oftentimes the last thing we want to do is go out and try again spiritually. Jesus rarely just sits back and allows us to sulk in the midst of our feelings of defeat. Most of the time he will call us out of that place and he will say to us, get out there and do what you are supposed to be doing. What a powerful look at how Jesus responds to our shortcomings and failures.